Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we got some great news today. Divi Supreme Modules, which is one of my favorite plugins for Divi, have introduced another new module and they've got 50 plus modules and several extensions, which makes it one of my favorite plugins. And it's a random image module and I'll take you through it in just a moment. Basically what it does is it'll choose an image every time you refresh the page it'll ch it'll show a different image and you can create galleries and all kind of things like this and it's a great way of keeping attention and keeping your page fresh at all times one thing they do mention with this though if you use it make sure that you've not got a caching plugin on the page that you want to use this on because it will show it won't work properly it may show the same picture twice just to demonstrate I've got a little page here if you look at that main image there when I refresh it's going to change the images up refresh again and it will change that image up again and you may notice it's also changing these images down the bottom here so you can create full galleries with it also and I'll show you exactly how to do that another great application I've created a little hero section up here using an image module in the background and I've put a row with a call to action and scooted it up with some negative margin that would be great for the top of blog posts to change out the pictures and again every time I refresh on here it's going to show a different image and although it's random you do get to choose the images so let's do some I'm going to go over to this page here let's enable the visual builder And let's just delete this module and we'll start from scratch and I'll show you it again. We'll go ahead and trash this one and we'll add a new module. I've got a section here with a row with a single column. I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module. Here's all the regular modules you get with Divi, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add Divi Supreme, you get 50 extra modules and there are some fantastic modules here. And we've gone over most of these. If you want to check more out, have a look at our Divi Supreme playlist. And the one I'm looking for today is the random image right there. So I'm simply going to click on it. First thing it's going to do is prompt you to add some gallery images. So although it's random, you do get to choose the gallery images that you want. So let's just grab that one right there and let's go up to here. I'm just left clicking with my shift key held down. It's going to select all in between and I'm going to load all of those. Once we've got it loaded in there, as you can see, we've got that first image in there. You've got several options. You can make them full size. You can make them smaller if you want to. I'm happy with mine to be full size. I also like mine as I've got a single column here in the actual sizing. You can force it full width if your images aren't quite big enough to fill the gap. I'm going to leave mine on full width. If you want to, you can link your images, use image link right here. And to actually make use of this link, you want to go to your media library. Let's go down to the dashboard. Down to your media once you're in your dashboard. And if you want to add a link, click on the image you want to use. And here we go for Divi Supreme modules over. You can put a separate link in for each module if you want to take people to a different place with each image. If we roll down a bit, you've got the option to use a background. I don't need that because we're looking at an image there. I'm not going to put an admin label in. That just tells us what it is on the back end. Design wise, well, you can choose to have an overlay. The default's not to have one. If you switch it on, You may have noticed it actually changes the image even when we make a change over here which is kind of cool. It's got show overlay on hover. Let's make mine dark. Oh, That's the icon color right there. I'm happy for that to be light in color. Overlay color. I'm going to make it dark with the opacity down a little bit. There we go. We've got a little white icon and a dark overlay. But that's entirely up to you if you want to show an overlay or use a link it's up to you 
and here you can choose the icon down below you've got all the regular image options that you normally have you can make it rounded give it borders box shadows etc sizing and spacing wise well I briefly went over the sizing but that's pretty much all there is to this module and it's really easy and if I look down below here let's just get rid of this whole row and we'll start again you can actually build whole galleries with this in fact let's just make a new row put another three in there and if we just put a random image module in any of these I'll just leave it like that and we'll clone it a couple of times two little squares to clone it I'm going to clone it twice drag one over drag another one over doesn't matter which one they're all identical and then we can go in and choose the pictures we want to use for this one do this very quickly and we'll do similar for the next one I've used the same exact images I have above <laughs> Yeah, let's do these three or these four perhaps for that one. And we'll save that and we'll go into the next one. Yeah, let's use those four. I'm just going to go back in that first one, switch out that image that we've got going on there. Little trash can to get rid of an image. Let's add a different one. Great. Okay, well, let's save this and we'll see what happens. When I actually save the changes here, save draft or publish, once I exit the visual builder, you'll see these images change when it reloads. There we go, different picture. Now let's just refresh one more time. And we've got some different pictures down here. Let's refresh that one more time. And that's great. That's a great way of adding interest to your blog posts or little galleries. Like I say, that's an absolutely free upgrade that Divi Supreme Modules has given us there. If you don't have it, I recommend you check it out. And you can check it out from my link below the video if you want to. So there we have it. The new Supreme Random Image Generator from Divi Supreme Modules. And that's great fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and Great Web Design. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.